Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Two Shrimp Contest. On my left, Nathan Mentier. On my right, Teresa Sutherland. I got him that time. Oh, Teresa. Nice fish. Nice fish, Teresa. You got some shrimp? Right here. They got live and they probably got dead. Ooh, fresh, fresh dead? Fresh dead or $4 a cup. The, uh, the live or um, $4 a dozen? Three seventy five. That's not gonna last between two of them. We'll take two of those. I will take two of those. I ain't too shabby. I just gotta figure out a way to get with <laughs> Got swam. Uh, where's the parking pole? Is it right there? Hey, 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 hey. What you doing pushing me way, way out here? <laughs> Is the parking pole right there? Yeah, I got it. I'm solid. I'm solid. It just seems tippy until it gets here. Oh, yeah, it ain't tippy. This is a beast. This is a beast from the east. Thanks, man. Be able to read the numbers. Right, but should the green be towards me or the red be towards me? I don't understand that question. Both of them. Which one do you pull towards you to go in the direction you're trying to Green go? is forward. Stop it. <laughs> I am not. I'm nowhere near the people. Holy sh divorce boat. That's what somebody said. Somebody says divorce boat. We'll go light. These finicky suckers. Finicky. Alright, here's a here's a piece of leader. Oh, such a little self-motivated fisherwoman. Love it. Love the spirit. I'm gonna win you over one day and it's gonna be a beautiful moment. Are you leaving? Whoa, whoa, whoa. A couple foot. Can you sit still? Oh baby, it's it's uh really stable. Back there? Well, on what? Battletail? Battle you got two specks on Battletail. I ain't come for no speck of trout. That's cheating anyway. We're sheephead fishing, yeah. I'm surprised in this dirty water you got him with a Battletail. How big? Swallowed it because he was on bottom for a while. Yeah, I knew I had a fish. <laughs> oh! When you got tangled, I had a fish. I had a fish. I had a fish. So it was the same fish? I got you. Here we go. First sheep head of the season, y'all. Woohoo! What's the legal limit on these guys? Wait, let me look it up. Eleven and three quarters. Can't keep this guy. Gotta let him go. He's not legal. Glad I brought the board. Cause that's like dead on. All right, we're gonna let him go. Let's go get a bigger one, people. Let's go get a bigger one. He's getting a bump, people. Oh, Teresa. 
Nice fish. Nice fish, Teresa. Come on, right here, right here. Let it bring in. Let it bring in. <laughs> Good job, honey. Good job. That's a nice one, too. Yes, that's what I was looking for. He's got an extra hook in his mouth. Oh, yeah, it's tangled up in the net. He's legal. Is he? I think so. Yeah, he's got an extra hook in his mouth. Oh, yeah, he's like 14. 14, man. <laughs> Good job, honey. Thank you. That's a chunky monkey. He had an extra hook in his mouth. Yeah, so he oh, cut. There it goes. He cut somebody off. I'll take that hook. All right. Sheepies. I'm getting a rough cap. They go bump, 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 bump. You gotta let him take it. Yeah. Don't let him take it. <laughs> It's like bass fishing with plastics. Bump, 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 bump. You gotta let them take it. Then you pile drive them. So we both got one playing. Take it. Nathan's caught a couple little trout over there on soft plastics. This is our bait of the day right here, people. Fresh dead shrimp. Taken out of the cooler, put put in a free, freezer, but not frozen on, not frozen for a long time. Just one day at the most. Fresh dead. You got frozen on ice, like in a block. You got fresh dead that just died in the tank, and you got live, live best, fresh dead second best, frozen in the block, third best. What's the story, Nathan? He said four specks under size and one rat red. Don't, he's throwing plastics. Good job. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a bigger one. Big? He's a bigger one. Oh, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Good job. Way to bring him around. Way to bring him around. Yeah. <laughs> see like how big he is. Sheep head festival up here, Teresa. <laughs> yeah. Got him right in the corner of the mouth. You did? Yeah, that's good. He's gonna go like 12, mm -hmm. 14, 13. He's gotta be 12 to stay. What's he at? I can't see. Oh, yeah. Look at there. 12 and 3 quarters. Now this is what I'm catching. Look at here. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about right here. Giant white trout. It's my catch of the day right here. It's my giant catch of the day right there, boy. Don't leave it up to me. I ain't the sheep head whisperer. I'm not a sheep dog. See, we're putting, a, putting the weight on the bottom, giving it two and a half foot a liter, and then putting a small J hook. Really finessing it. It's like an old drift rig for catfishing. But uh, there's a lot of muck on the bottom, a lot of grass and stuff, and that keeps the, the shrimp out of the grass. Took my shrimp. No, I didn't. She's getting tapped over here. And I'm getting tapped over. Look, 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 look. Trying not to get over anxious and set the hook. Yeah, 
I got my bait. That's a little drum. He's drumming. <laughs> Micro drummer. <laughs> little guy. Little drummer boy. Little Christmas guy. fish. Ready to go back, little guy. Go. Oh. How many shrimp do we have left? We can leave when you're fitting it when you're out of shrimp. Lost them all. They're biting fast back here. There's a better bite at the back of the boat. Time to go get warm. <laughs> Let's go clean these sheephead and go cook them, man. I'm ready. What'd you get? A couple specks, rat red, and I don't know what that other thing was, like some kind of small white trout shiner with freshwater fish. Is it? That's it. Trace out fishes again. Three sheep head. I'm starting to get worried. She might be able to outfish me. <laughs> you still want to do that competition thing you were talking talking about? Of course. That'll back down from a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> we'll consider today the challenge. I won! <laughs> You can take the girl out of Texas, but you can't take the Texas out of the girl. She's got to have a water burger fix. Every now and then, she's just got to have it. We're headed to do some sheephead fishing, people. But obviously, it's water burger first. Are you happy now? You got your water burger? Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. Water burger is first, as far as I'm concerned. Waffle House is second. Water burger is number one. It is the Texas Embassy. And they should be spread throughout the United States. I understand that they're not. So Whataburger, if you're watching, you open up some stuff. You know, I went to Colorado and I couldn't get a Whataburger taco. I'm very upset about that. Oh, much nicer day today, folks. In search of sheephead again, right, Teresa? Yes, day two. Day two. You want yeah, we're gonna shoot across. What a beautiful day! This is so much nicer than yesterday. Oh God! We're out of the wind. We're in the full sun. It's in the low 60s. Yeah, that was a loon. We get a lot of loon, loons from Canada and stuff down here in the winter. I fish with a loon every day. You do? That's not funny. By the way, I scrubbed yesterday. I saw you got rid of them shrimp. <laughs> I was cold, man. You're a dirty fool. I was cold. You threw them shrimp overboard. Too cold for Florida. I was ready to go home. Keep an eye on you, today. you better watch me. Uh oh, we got company. What's happening? You guys are uh, 30 miles out, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's the name? I'm Steven. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Steven. You doing any good? Yeah, a couple seats head right out to here, so. Nice. We'll give Nathan and Steven some space here. I need all the help I can get. How you going down today? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> A little friendly rivalry Nathan and Teresa have here. It's turned not so friendly lately. I'm full on guiding the queen today. That's all right. Yeah. And here we will sit <laughs> all day. All right. You want to drift out a little bit? I'll back us up. Boop, boop, boop. It's going to swing us probably this way. Is that good right there? Sure. You got one already? Sure. Oh. Nathan already slamming them. It's going to be a good day, people. I don't even have time to rig. Teresa and Nathan are already hanging stuff left and right. Yeah, I'm rolling. It's one for one, Nathan. One for one. Look at these two. <laughs> one to one. Yes. <laughs> these two crazies, I tell you. 
Jesus I can't take either one of them anywhere. So I'm using 14 pound test mono. Nathan loaned me some tiny hooks, man. These are awesome. Perfect. It's like he raided Walmart. Tiny hook must add a tiny hook department. <clears throat> we'll pop that head. head. Thread that scrimp. Been doing this since I was a little bitty kid. That's a catch all, man. Right there. Alright, I just hit bottom. Let's see what's up. Man, we're sitting at the perfect angle, huh? With the current. Right off the. We're suspended. We're not even bouncing off the barnacles. Dang it, lost him. Lost him. Got one? Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Good job, honey. Catching up to Nathan yet? Right next year. Too small. Too small. Ten inches. Ready? Bye-bye. Got him? I got him that time. I got his butt that time, Teresa. <laughs> Good job. Little babies, man. Like a tenor. Like in tenor and choir? Yeah. <laughs> Fish on, you hung. He's home. He's home. Watch the little guy. Look at him. Yeah. Got him take it. About my hands getting cold today. There you go, sheepy sheepy. Got the old Mariner Sales uh, hog trough. Alright, what they got to be, Teresa? 12. He is just under 12, folks. Just under. Not going to quite make it. Alright, catapulting. like a big cradle with two wheels you strap on another little guy Teresa we gonna get some big ones or no You do hook them. That's it. <laughs> it breaks the hook. It's they're so tough. Eleven incher. Go back down. Tell your big brother I want a piece of him. You hear me, little convict? You go get your mama. Tell her I said come get some scrimp. Cause I got a skillet plan. Oh, Nathan's got one. He's catching the same fish we are. You caught a keeper yet? 
I don't want to hear nothing until you catch a keeper. No, he didn't. He's talking smack. That looked like a little better fish. Maybe, maybe not. Walk us down a couple there, Sparky. Where'd you launch at? All right, buddy. Nice to meet you. you get you home? Good job. That's a nice one. He's going to make it. Land and a half? Yeah. No, we ain't there yet. We're still hungry. All right, let's move this ship. You going to untie You going to untie us? Yeah, All right, here we go. We're going to move, folks. Nathan says there's some rocks on the other side, so we won't go around. Tie off in the shade and it'll drift back into the uh, sun. Sure. Cliff Bar, if you're watching, we eat these by the dozens. What? I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to Cliff Company. Alright, we're set up now. No, he ain't. It's exactly the same. Thanks for playing, though. He's a little bigger. No, he ain't. A little bitty turd. Have you? Yeah. I set the hook What you got there? Hogfish. Hogfish? Yeah. Better one? No. Dinker, Dinky McDinkerson? Quick release. That looked like a better fish. Nope. We wish. Guys, we we have killed the 10 inchers today. It's just 10 inch city out here right now. I don't know what it's gonna take to break 12 inches. Teresa stopped messing around. Maybe we can catch some bigger ones. Got one? I spoke too soon. Did I speak too soon? Are we a little bigger? Need the net? I just got the words out of my mouth. Almost 13? Yep. Alright, you have to show everybody in the board what he looks like. We just got a little more meat for the uh the sheep head fry, right? Yeah. Let's see him on that. Uh, oh, you gonna put him on the boards? So everybody... Yeah, you lit up. Lean into the sun. Yeah. All right. Woohoo! Good job, babe. We add him to the ones we got yesterday. We got a meal. We got a good meal. You wanna invite Nathan over since he's uh, yeah. feel sorry for him? I don't feel. He had keepers yesterday, <laughs> didn't he? One lure tournament. Y'all need to do the one lure tournament. You get to choose one lure. You better choose a hard plastic because soft plastic won't last long. Do what? Yeah, No, you get one. That's it. You lose it, you go home. Huh? No, that they have one called the one fly lure one fly tournament. You get one fly to fish all day. No. No. No, that's why you pick a hard plastic. No. Nope. Not a hard plastic. You better pick something that'll last. Sometimes they cut it off. You better use a high, heavier lure, leader. That's all part of the challenge. Look, I'm not. I'm not gonna be part of it if it's gonna be. All right, look. Oh, I just lost him. Y'all too busy talking. They don't make them any bigger over here, Teresa? What? What? Mangrove! Came over here just in time for the mangrove. Is that a legal one? I 
Me and Nathan are talking. Teresa's over here just winching him out. Come on, Luz, get him in the boat. Ah, oh, got me rocks. Ah. Now, another reason to have 14 pound test leader. Oh, we done, we done kicked into lounge mode, people. Yeah, we got our feet up, we're laying back. This is awesome. I tell Nathan this ain't even fishing, this is grocery shopping at this point. Looks like we got a keeper on our hands. What's that? No. Top fin or bottom fin? Yeah, he's over 12. Uh, he's just barely over. Keep him or no? Uh, you can. Did you risk it for a biscuit? <laughs> no, he's borderline. It's up to you. on the job. Kind of, who is this? He's sleeping. There's fish to be caught. Wonder why you get out fished? Uh, <laughs> you go to sleep on the job. I got a line in the water. Is there shrimp on it or are you fishing on credit? There's probably a shrimp on it. Maybe. Maybe. At least put a shrimp on it if you're going to be sleeping. I have been. These keep stealing it. These little dookies. All right, we're gonna go around the point here and try the backside. See if we can find some bigger fish. Sheep's Bunch head. of small sheephead. Sheep's yeah, we got about 20 small ones. Yeah. Nice. Dink City girl, you coming in hot. About to reverse. All right, go forward. How many is that? 54? What's that? How many is that? 54? 18. Who's going to film Nathan? Is he catching them all? He's catching Ooh. the same one over and over. Teresa, I had a hot bite going on back here. I'm out of bait. You're going to love her. I saw your footage from yesterday. You dumped your bait out. There's no way that you can fish it more than me. Teresa, you, uh, there's a lot more sheep head back here than there is up front. No, sir. What'd you do? You dumped the bowl out? <laughs> Uh -uh. He threw his bait out. I had a hot bite. Hot bite on what? You were napping half the time. How many I could have been using your How bait. many more you got? What you do? You poured them overboard? How many more you got? You tell me the truth and I'll tell you how many I got. I'll tell you the truth about how many I got. I fed them the sheep head. That's it. You fed them like a whole bucket all at once. Uh -uh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the two shrimp contest. <laughs> on my left, Nathan Mentier. On my right, Teresa Sutherland. You get two shrimp, two drops. Let's see who comes out on top with the biggest fish. Hey, Nathan. it don't help that I gave her my spot. <laughs> hey, you're still on a good spot, too. This is an even match. Nathan's going down for the drop. It looks like he's got a bottom strategy. He's holding tight to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Teresa's choosing to be suspended off the bottom. Nathan's already getting a bump. If you lose your bait, you're out of the competition. Competition's stiff, ladies and gentlemen. Teresa Sutherland's holding steady. She's giving it all. Two shrimp, that's it. Two shrimp, two drops. The intensity's building. Nathan's got a bump. Teresa's got a bump. Teresa hooked up. Will she keep it? Will she lose it? Will it break off? Will it beat Nathan's? And it's... No, it's not. She's mis misidentification and loses one point. Big fish. One pig fish in the boat from Teresa Sutherland puts her in the lead for the two shrimp contest.
can Nathan beat a pig fish? I don't know. We'll see. Say is, uh, I couldn't break my shrimp in half. Hey, two shrimps, two shrimp, man. How many you got left? Half. Half a shrimp? Nathan's down to a half a shrimp, ladies and gentlemen. Teresa Sutherland's still got a full shrimp and dropping now. Yeah, throw them in the bucket. That's my shrimp. Put it back. <laughs> those are mine. Those are mine. I'm feeding those to the chickens. Damn it, man. Take me back to the freaking dock. <laughs> I'm done with this. Take me back, Teresa. Sabotage I'm going to swim back. Back. It's very cold. It's cold, man. I got clothes in the car. Talking about I'm out of shrimp. <laughs> you guys are boring me to tears, man. You got to let me go home. You got to let me go home, man. Y'all are boring me to tears. I'm freezing to death. Film the episode and hush. Uh -oh. Nathan. There we go. See, there's still fish to be caught. This is this is not fish. This is a 10 inch freaking sheephead that's been caught a thousand times. Oh. Nathan's coming back in hot. He's got another something 10 incher. Another 10 incher. Nathan's two shrimp for two fish. Teresa, can you beat it? You're down one fish with only a pig fish. You're gonna have to get something mighty fine to break two sheep head with only one pig fish. This last fish has to be a grouper. I'd give me a 15 or 16 inch sheep head. If you get over 13 inches on the sheep head, you can pull a head by a nose. Right now, Nathan's got your beat. Two fish, two, two shrimp. Two fish, two shrimp. Beat that, Teresa. I lost my bait. Are you admitting defeat? No, for the two shrimp contest. Nathan wins. It's victory. Winner. It's victory. I do want it on record though. The Ty is a liar. And he hid the shrimp today. And yesterday, he dumped them overboard and lied and said that he was he was outfished. No more shrimp. Hot light back here. I seen her out the throwing them overboard. <laughs> Bottom dropping ain't my favorite thing to do, people. It's just not my favorite thing. Let's go home. Tight race. Competition stiff. Nathan Mentier comes out on top for the first time. Let's go home, clean some sheep head. Let's get in the kitchen and see if Teresa can come up with an awesome sheep head recipe. Do a little catch and cook. He knows you're about to clean some this fish. This cat, he's got the drill now, man. <laughs> hey, these radders are seven, six or seven bucks. RDA, ask Nathan about that. He got him one boy. Got like four of them. Yeah. I don't have yeah. fish, Smokey. Stop it, Smokey. <laughs> Stop. He's crazy. Stop. He's got fish fever. <laughs> Get down. <laughs> Get down. Smokey, here. Get down. You're using your claws. There. Smokey. Man. He just wants to. He just wants to molest me. That's all. You are a nosy cat. Nosy. He's got you spoiled. <laughs> He's just nosy, man. He's Big uh, sand trout. That's your catch of the day, <laughs> not mine. Is that yours? No. Come on, man. That's the fish you brought home for the chickens. Come on. Voila. Done. That's that. How are we gonna cook these? You got an idea? I do. How? I'll show you later. Go ahead and eat this chunk right now. How? I'm gonna put it See, on. Trout raw. Yeah, Come on, right. Sushi trout. Nope. No. Sushi. You disgust me. Don't you dare. I will turn. Ah! I'm turning it off. Turn it off. You're so nasty. Teresa, look. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I like your, your green booty with the 
quick release. <laughs> My elf Woody. <laughs> Y'all just saw us catch these sheep heads, so why don't we go ahead and cook them up, Teresa? Let's do that! Let's, Let's do, do it. it! We got our sheep head fillets. Tell them mm -hmm. what you did, how we cleaned them up. Uh, they had a little bit of bone and a little bit of bloodline, and I like to clean my meat up. Well, I left a little bit, but I like to clean mine up to where it's just the white stuff. We put them in, some, in a little bit of water and put it in the fridge overnight. Yeah, overnight. Mm -hmm. That's the butter. Mm -hmm. And we went ahead and cut up all our... We're, what are we making? Sheep's head tacos. We're making sheep's head tacos. Yes. We went ahead and cut up some tomatoes and mm -hmm. some vegetables and oh yeah, can't do it without um, uh -huh. avocado. Mm -hmm. And I cut up a little bit of onion and we got some cheese. So uh, we're gonna do. I'm gonna do the spinach. Teresa and Gavin will probably do the straight up flour tortillas, and uh, we'll get this thing going. Yeah, they're in the butter now. So you so, just take them. We're just gonna um, lightly. What did you just do? What did you want? Did you want them? I don't even know what you're doing. That's butter, melted butter. Okay. Do you want them lightly breaded or you lightly just... breaded and lightly pan fried with something healthy like olive oil or coconut oil? Okay. Well, we coat them a little bit in butter, olive oil, in the pan. Lots of olive oil. Hmm? There we go. What kind of heat you put on that? I'm gonna put it on medium, about five. And you said you wanted a light breading? Yeah, a light okay. breading. So and just lightly fry. I would do like some lemon pepper on everything. I'm just gonna do it all in one bowl. Okay. A little tad bit of Tony's. And then just mix it around. Well that's butter. easy. Yeah. So Sweet spices and a little what kind of what kind of great value Walmart breading you got? How do you know it's great value? <laughs> it says great value. Italian style, so it gives a little bit of flavor. And you can mess with it. You could put like, um, like I would put um, some Parmesan cheese on it too. Give it a little bit of flavor. That's but a good idea. We'll do it just with your breading here. And then once that heats up, we'll just lay it in there and we'll cook it two to three minutes on each side and it'll be ready for tacos. So I was just asking Teresa, why no egg? I would think you would put egg in there. It's a light breading. You put egg on there if you want a heavy breading. You do an egg and milk wash and then you bread it and then you can run it back through the egg and milk wash and bread it again so and it gets a heavy bread but see you wanted a light just a light one so with a light one you just use butter I think it's who it's just preference Ty learn to cook learn to cook <laughs> And it only takes a couple of minutes on each side. See how lightly it's breaded? It's not breaded heavily like you would normally, like you would do catfish or something like that. Ouch. It gets white and flaky. You can tell when it's done. It'll be white and flaky. That one got done fast. Yeah. Depending on your heat, I mean, it'll take. See, it's lightly breaded. When it starts to fall apart, is that when it's ready, like other fish? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And that one's already started to come apart. Should we use plastic and not scrape off the Teflon so I won't get some kind of disease? It's time. Stop it. I get Teflonitis. Knock <laughs> it off. You're not supposed to scrape off the Teflon. I'm not metal. even touching the bottom you of the You get paint. Teflonitis. Shut your mouth. It takes about 15 minutes, start to finish. Cut your vegetables and stuff up, prep your food, and then cook it one to two minutes on each side. Not very long at all. Quick dish. This is going fast, Tracy. Yeah, it's a really fast dish. Really fast, really easy. What fish can you do this with? Everything. I imagine you could even do this with hardheads. I'd have to be pretty hungry to eat a hardhead taco, but I wouldn't put it past me. No. All his veggies, and he's got his fresh, lightly breaded sheep head. And then you got what? You got a spinach herb taco? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool discovery, this uh, avocado cilantro stuff. Love it. Boathouse. I drink the Boathouse green stuff. It's delicious. And the Naked Juice green. 
machine. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put just a little bit of that on there. Yum. And then uh, some of this balsamic oh, and a gra uh, raspberry glaze. Raspberry glaze. Oh, okay. Just you. Yum. Why? Like cake decorating, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> more? To make it muy tropical. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. And I got my Guy Harvey mint tea with local honey. Which was your Christmas hat. It's Christmas, huh? It's Christmas. That's right. In the city. Merry Christmas, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know. I don't know how to fold these. About like your lightly breaded. Like they do. Sheep's head taco. You're supposed to do it something like that. Yes. You, cut, you, you wrap the butt up. Mm-hmm. Give it a go. whirl. <laughs> You can't buy that. No. Be a little piece of this. Mm -hmm. That's the tenderest, flakiest. It's a good thing it's we good. call it small ones. Yeah. That is so tender. Oh my God. It's good stuff. No doubt about it. Man, that's great. They definitely eat good in a taco, let me tell you. <laughs> that slightly breaded sheep's head fish tacos. Mm mm. That's no good making one slap your mama. Mm hmm. Or Teresa. Shit. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas.